Hello everybody, I'm Jason Roten, this is Primitive Life Training, uh, a lot of my videos uh, deal with uh, survival tactics and techniques as well as uh, primitive techniques. Um, today I want to uh, show you and discuss uh, a fire piston. What we have here is a, you have a tube that the uh, rod fits down into and then you have the actual piston or rod uh, has a little uh, bit of a hole drilled in the end of it right there for your uh, char cloth to go and uh, a rubber o-ring that goes around it uh, to you know kind of help seal off the air when it goes down in there like that right there and you hit it and everything uh, basically what this does is when you have your char cloth in here you put this in here the air gets trapped in there and you see it pushes it back up now the physics behind this is you hit it and drive that piston down in there so fast that when it gets down to in here somewhere it compresses that air so hard and so fast it heats it up to around 2000 degrees um, and uh, pretty much instantly uh, ignites your uh, char cloth. I, I'm not sure if you could do it with toilet paper. We're going to do some experimenting later on, but I'm not going to do it on the video. I'm just going to use this to kind of clean it out because I've I've used it once or twice. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do to begin with, uh, you need to lubricate this oil ring. So I got a little bit, not I mean just enough to, you know glisten the end of my finger there of Vaseline or you can use um, lip balm uh, wax uh, I wouldn't suggest wax that will clog up your tube but if you don't have nothing else you can use it um, I, I'd prefer using Vaseline or lip balm uh, petroleum jelly or something like that uh, anyway you're just going to take it and just go around that o-ring and like I said you can see it's got a little bit smudge on it where I've used it before and then you're going to insert the piston into the tube and just kind of you know lube that tube up a little bit and what you want is you want that when you push it down to come right back up okay once you get that done you can just kind of wipe the end of that off uh, you don't want a whole lot of Vaseline in there because you'll wind up getting your uh, char cloth wet so uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to take uh, a little bit uh, char cloth and this is some that they sent me with the fire piston uh, these can be made uh, you, you don't necessarily have to order one I have made one uh, I've used copper tubing and wooden uh, dial rod for piston uh, you can uh, use brass uh, anything that you can use to uh, have a rod and a a barrel. Anyway, I'm going to take a, a little bit of char cloth and just kind of, you know, ball it up a little bit. Um, you have to kind of be careful, especially uh, with this kind, because it's kind of, my char cloth doesn't break up this easy, but anyway, and you want to get it as good and packed in there 
as you can like so uh, when I use my char cloth it, it folds up real easy and packs in there uh, but anyway you have your char cloth in there sorry about that anyway you got your char cloth in there you have your barrel so we're going to insert the fire piston into the barrel like so and what we're going to do is we're going to give it a real good hard smack and then pull it out don't jerk it out real fast but just get it out of there as quickly as possible because once it ignites if you don't then it uh, pretty much smothers your coal so let's give this a try let's see what we get it did ignite though let's try this again Thank goodness I have uh, hard floors. Oh. Anyway, once again, and like I said, if you if you if you don't watch, it will push it right out of there. So I guess I better kind of keep my hand on it not let it slide it once you lube that tube up it'll do that uh, anyway let's try this again And then what you would do is once you get that once you get that ember burning you take your little twig or something and uh you know get your fire bundle there and uh just kind of dig that ember out into your fire bundle coax it into flame so there you go fire piston uh, I find this to be uh, one of the best methods of uh, starting a fire uh, without matches other than a ferro rod um, it's a little bit easier than flint and steel uh, flint and steel is easy uh, but it kind of takes a little bit of practice to uh, kind of learn how to, you know, hit it just right and get that spark to ignite the char cloth. But, uh, you know, uh, the fire piston, uh, it, it, it's real easy to learn, um, <clears throat> real easy to use, compact, practical. And uh, if you got enough char cloth, uh, it will start a fire just about every time. As long as you have good dry tinder, you'll have a fire. Uh, does it take but just a couple of seconds? Uh, it beats the last resort bow drill. Uh, I like to use the bow drill method uh, and practice it you know because you know you never know when you might have to use it but uh, if I can use another method other than that I will uh, but I like to keep one of these with me uh, it fits right in there like that uh, it will fit in a Altoid 10 um, I'm planning on putting this one uh, setting it in some deer antler uh, but that's just my preference but I mean you can get one like this uh, or make one like this that'll fit you know in a in a tent anyway this is primitive life training hope you enjoy